Hello everyone, my name is Danai and this is Rachel and we're the rangers here in Dathi Park in Aberdeen. As rangers we often have schools and groups visiting us and we teach people all about nature and the environment. Today we'll do a little pond dip together with you in our wildlife pond uh, to see what we can cut. Our wildlife pond has a granite head where we'll pond it from but all the rest of the ends are natural and that's for the frogs and other wildlife to go in and out easily. There's also lots of flowers growing and they provide food and shelter to lots of beasties and animals. So if you want to do a pond dip yourself somewhere, you'll need a few things to have. First, you'll need a bucket to get some water out of the pond. You'll also need a white tray or something similar to put some of the water and beasties in. The best way to pond dip is with a net, but if you don't have one, you can just use the bucket. You'll also need a little plastic cup or glass to look closely at the beasties, and you can get an identifying guide online if you want. Now Rachel will show you how to use the net. So it carefully leans over the edge and makes a figure of eight with the net. That's the best way to cut the most beasties. And then carefully she takes it out and gently tips it into the tray. Now the water might be a bit murky at first, so just give it a couple of minutes to settle and clear and then you can see what we've got. So here's our tray and there's lots of exciting things inside. First of all, we can see there's lots of leaves from the trees. They fell down in autumn and they ended up in a pond. But now they provide food and shelter for all the beasts living there. There's also flower petals and there's lots of little seeds, again, that they provide food to the beasties. Now there's little beasties moving around swimming and because it's spring, most of them are quite tiny, but I'll try to cut a few things. So with my pod, to scoop them up and I think I've caught a beetle. So here we've caught a little whirligig beetle. He's very fast and he's actually carrying a bubble of air with him under the water so that he's able to breathe. So here we've caught a freshwater stream. He's a very good swimmer and he actually swims on his side. So sometimes it's called a side swimmer. He looks around for little bits of food in the water. So here we've got a caddis fly larva and this little beast is very special because he builds a home, a case, out of little stones that he finds at the bottom of the pond. And he only lives in clear waters, so that means that our pond has good quality waters. So here we've got our aquarium with little beasties from the pond that we caught yesterday. So as you can see, there's little baby things moving around and they will grow into bigger beasties in the summer. There's also some tadpoles as you can see around the back. He has a big round body and a long tail. And when he grows, he'll get his back legs first and then his front legs. And then he'll grow into a froglet and then a frog. And then he comes out of the pond. And just remember when you finish with your pond dip, just gently tip the tray back into the water so that the elder beasts can return home. I hope you enjoyed our pond dip and maybe you can find some things yourself.